then comes the risk management that we were talking so risk management generally uh, there are different teams you could have one team also but there are generally different team for market risk and credit risk uh, and when we say market risk as, as i mentioned so uh, uh, it has good dedicated system for market risk scenarios uh, it it, uh, it is uh, it uh, it has a capability to perform the stress testing you you can you can uh, configure your uh, containers as they say it in, uh, within the risk module you can configure your containers as per your requirement run the stress testing generate a report uh, up, uh, when you say report it could it, it gives you both on demand uh, on screen reports plus if you want to get get it as part of the report and uh, share it to someone that also is generated as, as a csv file so uh, alongside war you can uh, value at risk you can you can generate uh, and can configure and generate uh, as per your threshold as per your bank's threshold and scenarios also you uh, alongside uh, when when you do it it has capability to uh, create those your uh, exposure reports uh, initial exposure the uh, trade exposures the position exposures all those exposures reports are also created and uh, are managed then there there is uh, uh, there is one more module which is limit management so limit management is sometimes um, some banks use it as part of the credit risk side some part use it as part of their risk uh, uh, market risk uh, uh, as alongside market risk manage uh, module okay limit management what it does is let's suppose um, um, i am a trader and or, or I'll, I'll show it to the other, uh, I'll explain it in the other way. Like I am a bank, I don't want, uh, so I am, let's suppose HSBC and UK, and I don't, I, I want to set up a limit that uh, for a trader, an FX trader, he should not be uh, doing more than 85% of his portfolio capacity with any us bank let's suppose uh, or maybe a specific counterparty you can set up city bank uh, yeah. so these kind of limits is something which will trigger at the time of front office deal capture only so although this module lies within the risk management but this is kind of your risk which is managed uh, and handled uh, at the time of deal input only so when uh, whenever a fx trader will go and and they are trying to so there are n number of limits that you can or threshold values you can uh, uh, you can configure in the limit management uh, module and, uh, and, uh, and what, if there's, what if there's a conflict because if you can use it in all three in market credit and liquidity risk right um there's one module or there are three modules is there like could you set it up one just, way for market a, and a different credit uh -huh. yeah it's it's just a small module it's just a couple of screens only it's not a we we should we i, I think calling okay. it a module in itself is uh, maybe wrong it's it's a pair of screen or couple of screens where you do yeah. where you can create those scenarios like i want to put up a th uh, limit threshold uh, and i want limit monitor to get activated at a counterparty level so you can set it up at a counter rate so whenever there is a and you can set a threshold like 85 percent uh, of the portfolio if traded uh, with citibank in that case if a tr uh, trader is going to put a next trade which is breaching that threshold it will not allow uh, the trader it will it will give error warnings which which is configurable at uh, bank side but it will show error and it will not allow trader to book that trade so either they have to get that or previous trade settle or they have to use some other portfolios uh, or books uh, to do the trade or there there are some exception scenarios also where it, it can say don't restrict it just make it as a maker checker so whenever a trade breaching a threshold is booked it will go to uh, a supervisor uh, or maybe a trading head uh, trading desk head so he that person he or she will actually go and approve that trade okay we we, we are okay that this is uh, breaching the threshold but you know, we are aware of this why why we are booking this trade so you can we again set it up at counter battery you can also set up at a, a, a notional level also like i don't want my trader to book a 1 billion trade uh, it should it should pass a maker checker kind of uh, setup so then also you can uh, put this limit management on uh, on the trade notional value or the trade value ticket value only good, good. so th this is a kind of an additional control that it gives and uh, before the trade actually hits the 
uh, murex database it is controlled or i would say it gets activated before that only so once this uh, uh, this check is passed then only uh, our entry in the database for that uh, trade number gets created in murex okay next is credit risk so credit risk again um, there are uh, under credit risk you can uh, you have a normal credit risk functionalities that you can handle uh, like uh, uh, credit exposure calculations and credit limit monitoring so uh, limit monitoring is something which uh, we just discussed so whenever there are there are breaches uh, it generates a report uh, of all those uh, breaches and uh, there's a provision that it can uh, at the end of the day you can set it up as like at every eod whatever limits that have been breached i want as a desk head i want those uh, uh, trades to be reported to uh, uh, to uh, and higher up so that they can uh, they can see and they can report it to the regulators in case there is uh, there is a need for doing that so that functionality is also there then within this credit risk also you have a counterparty credit risk management uh, screens also where you can uh, you can set up the, uh, the risk controls at the counterparty uh, credit default from a counter to cover the counterparty credit uh, 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 default perspective alongside it uh, it also helps in performing your xva functionalities your calculation of your cvas your credit value adjustments debit value adjustments funding fvas all xvas i would say all variables of xvas are managed through credit risk uh, module so depending on and uh, also there is uh, uh, there is a i would say capability where you can tweak this xva calculations when i say tweak uh, let's suppose bank only needs X, uh, your credit value adjustments and the debit value adjustments to be reported or to be calculated as part of murex module and then, then the other funding value feas and all other are, are calculated by their own in-house system so you can you can customize only bits and pieces of the xva calculations also so you can bring in data from so when you're doing your calculations you can bring in data from other sources it doesn't just have to be murex data yes it you can bring it you can send it across also so let's suppose cva is something you're you have already calculated in murex and you want now this data alongside the whole trade data should get uh, should be fed into a uh, your own in-house risk system so you can send it across to that system get your numbers risk numbers calculated from there and you can bring that number back to your uh, okay. and then murex use, and database then, right and then use that in the um uh, in the first one, which is the limit management. So you could take the CVA, set it out someplace, get that, yes. get two data points back and use that in the limit management. Yes, yes. And then uh, also your risk reports that you are generating the exposure, uh, future exposure reports also. So cool. uh, I think in case you are using uh, Murex risk module uh, as a base module or a central repository for risk reporting. Then cool. liquidity risk is something again that, uh, uh, we already spoke as part of the market risk. So uh, liquidity risk market ri is part of your market risk module only. And so it's like uh, we have separately mentioned it as like manages liquidity risk by monitoring cash flows and funding uh, uh, gaps and all liquidity ratios. But yeah. in general, it can be covered as part of your market risk, credit risk, and then then uh, you can you can have your liquidity risk rep uh, reports generated in combination from these two modules also so yeah, something okay. where like some of the parameters will will be fed from market risk module and others uh, from the credit risk and then they uh, then you uh, create a logic where you combine uh, you create a com consolidated report out of that and you you send it across to the liquidity uh, uh, team uh, for their validations Okay. So it at every step it has a capability to generate reports wherever required even the front office trades also uh, back office so back office uh, is again a pretty big module uh, in murex uh, not that uh, common like uh, you would rarely see client who is using murex back office only and they are not using front office and risk management if if, if a bank or an organization is using back office generally trend is they 
they have bought the full package front to back to risk uh, you you would yeah, see we're, we're, gonna, uh, we're gonna do the whole thing so so we're um yeah. okay. I, again that's, that's my job right to implement the whole thing <laughs> they, no. have part okay. of, they have part of it no, now no, no. but they have, they have it in a small mm -hmm. um sorry they have part of it now and they want mm -hmm. to extend it to the full to everything so okay okay all all asset classes all desk across you your office it. Across the whole firm. Okay. Yep. Uh, my my point was uh, mainly the back office module of Murex is not that strong that uh, some client would go ahead and buy only that module. That's what I was trying to say, explain. Oh, I see. Yeah, uh, yeah. Where you said the front then, office, some people buy just the front office on its own. Yes. Um, yes. Or front risk and risk is something. These two modules are bought separately. You would see client using only front office, only risk management, or a combination of front office and risk management. But mm -hmm. back office is something which they don't uh, buy. So I think Calypso uh, is holds uh, a kind of like a trophy for the for the best back office system till date. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is, and I'm sure there's Calypso integration here. But uh, my my the intention of my role is to create a front to back solution um okay. and so they've gone the firm's already decided murex is the is the you know the app of choice Strategy. if you will mm -hmm. yeah um so now and because they have it they have it in some places so i need to just extend it out and and deepen it 